guess what? It's officially been one year since I decided to lock my hair up. So what better way to start my YouTube channel for 2023 than to give you a recap of my lock journey? Come on, let me tell you the details. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kay and I'm a marketing and content strategist. But when I originally started my YouTube channel, I started it in the hopes of keeping track of my lock journey, which honestly never happened. But in honor of my one year lock anniversary and in honor of my first video on YouTube ever being my lock video, I decided to give you guys an update on my lock journey. So first things first, was this a good decision? Yes, it was the best decision ever. I no longer have to worry about all the different products that I was buying because I was a product junkie. I mean, if it was out there, I was trying it to see if it worked on my hair. Um, then I don't have to worry about my wash days either. Like it's not so complicated to wash my hair and having to detangle my hair and figuring out what hairstyle I'm going to do next. And then I'm not walking around with my puff, which I loved my puff, but at some points I just feel like a little kid when I had my puff. So I just didn't like wearing it all the time. And I ended up, you know, putting my hair in protective styles a lot more, which was, which made me decide like, hey, maybe I need to lock my hair up since I kept doing faux locks in my hair. So that is one of the reasons, uh, several of the reasons <laughs> that I decided to lock my hair up. And also I have a daughter, so she has just as much hair as me. And detangling one head a month, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with detangling her hair and having to wash her hair. It's, it's different when it's not on my head. How did I lock my hair? When I originally decided to lock my hair, I did a lot of research so I could either coil it or two strand twist it and i decided to two strand twist it because i wanted to not have to worry about the coils you know coming apart and me having to constantly twist those so that's why i decided to do two strand twist one of the things that i was worried about when it came to two strand twisting my hair was um how long would the pattern still be in there or if it would leave lumps in my hair but as it you know started to bud my hair started to change i don't mind the character that my hair has formed like so each one of my locks is different they have coils on some of them i i like it you know i feel like my hair got a chance to do its own thing and it doesn't have to look like a perfect uniform lock so for me two strand twist was really the way to go now i know i said that i was worried about my hair untwisting because of coils but that happened even though I had my hair in two strand twists. So just because you have your hair in two strand twists does not mean that your hair will not unravel. Around the perimeter of, of my hair, perimeter, can I speak y'all, of my hair, it's a little bit softer. So I was having trouble with my hair locking up around the edges. The back came out so many times I had to keep twisting it back and then finally it ended up locking even up here it ended up locking but it was my hair was just so soft it kept coming unraveled so one of the things that i was worried about did end up happening to me but it wasn't as bad as i thought that it would be now as far as products that i use water 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 um water was my best friend guys like this spray bottle water have peppermint oil in here tea tree oil lavender and i just spray it on my head and i just literally go sometimes i do spray rose water on my hair too as well just as a freshen up um but this is it like and some oil and go about my business water is my best friend um another misconception that i had i thought that my hair would be really like hard or something but it's still soft it's moisturized um and it's great like nothing really too difficult when it comes to it so 
I'm really happy about that. Okay, the next question I feel like I should answer is, have I ever had my hair professionally twisted? And the answer is no. I twisted my hair every single month or whenever I decided to twist it because sometimes I will go two months with that twisting my hair. Um, but I started with a kit by Napstar. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is not a promoted video, but it was a starter kit that had clips. It had shampoo, conditioner. It also had um, a comb and some bobby pins in there. Just a basically starter kit with lavender oil and scalp treatment oil. And I picked the tea tree shampoo and conditioner in there because my hair used to itch a lot in the beginning. My scalp used to itch a lot in the beginning. So that is why I chose that. It was just user friendly for me to get started. Now, the next thing that I will say was with those clips, I did have to buy more clips. So if you can see, they gave me two prong clips, if you can see that. And my locks in the back are a lot bigger than like right here in the crown of my head. The crown of my head is a little bit smaller. So I did have to go buy additional clips, which I got some of these because it makes it easier for me to slide these in in the crown of my head. So that kit really didn't have enough clips for me because of the amount of locks that I have. And then when my locks got longer, sometimes I needed additional clips when I do twist my hair to hold it in place so that it does stay. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is conditioner. I know I said I got conditioner in the kit, but I did not use conditioner for the first six months because you're trying to lock your hair. And I was reading videos whenever I was doing my research, this girl said her hair wasn't locking and people were like, you are washing your hair with conditioner and conditioner is a detangler. So I use conditioner now, but I still will skip a month with the conditioner and the reason that i did use conditioner is because i dyed my hair black and i wanted to make sure that my hair did not break off and that my hair was conditioned so that is when i was about six to seven months in and my hair had started budding and i didn't have the twist pattern as much anymore so conditioner was a no-go for the first couple months so that my hair could lock one thing that I will say when it comes to locking your hair up is that it's not necessarily easy, but it's not necessarily hard either because you're letting your hair form and do its own thing. But when I say that it's not necessarily easy, I'm meaning that it was a struggle for me in the beginning to have to get used to my hair not being perfect, as you would say. The frizz in the beginning and then my hair shrunk up in the beginning and it was just like what am I doing like I can always comb this back out and I was like no you need to be committed to this you need to go through this journey and what helped me was dressing up more putting on makeup trying to find different styles to make me feel better and your girl rocked the headband a lot in the beginning just putting it up in that ponytail put that headband on so we could just do what it had to do but it was like the frizz and just having to get used to my hair changing was a little hard in the beginning because you know as a one man we want to look beautiful and we want our hair to look perfect and to be flowing and all these different things so I wouldn't change any of it I'm glad I went through the journey and it just taught me that when I go back and look at those um pictures and videos of my hair when I first started it was not as bad as I thought it was in my head like I looked cute in a lot of things it was just like having to get used to it so it's all in the journey and I'm super excited to that I went through it and that I didn't, you know, just comb it out. So I'm I'm really glad that I went through it and just seeing how long it is now. And I'm just like, can't wait to see it grow even longer and what my hair is gonna do and all the styles that I can do. I would say if you're considering it, yeah, just go ahead and lock your hair up, pull off that band-aid and just do it. Um, See how you wanna start, research it if you haven't really researched it and go for it. It's just, it's such a time saver. It's so freeing to not have to worry about the product. It's so universal. People say that you can't wear wigs. You can still wear wigs. You can still do braids. You can, you know, just do it all still. So many different styles and so much versatility. So if that's what you want to do, I say do it. Lock it up, baby. Um, I don't know if I'll necessarily be giving you guys another update. Maybe a year from now, possibly.
we'll see if I will but yeah go back and watch my original video at the end of this video I will show you pictures of my life journey so you can see how I started and where I am now and yeah that's basically it guys thank you for joining me make sure you subscribe to my channel I will do a video on some quick hairstyles for locks but mainly if you want to learn about marketing and content strategies click that subscribe button because my channel will mainly be about that but you can also catch a couple vlogs and maybe i'll pop a update in now and then thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time